Hi everyone, it's Mary Jo. Welcome back to my channel. This is our reading for July 8th through July 14, 2018. I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, the sun is still in Cancer, and this is the week that we're going to have our solar eclipse in Cancer. That video is up if you want to see how it's going to affect you. Okay, so let's see. With the Ten of Pentacles, all right. This is a really nice card to get for people who have been in some sort of a financial bind or a lack. Uh, this card talks about money coming to you. Now, it could be, sometimes it's a windfall of money, like you win on a scratch off, or you win something big. It could be somebody even uh, giving you a lump sum of money to help you with a debt. Maybe it's a grant that was approved if you're applying for a grant or the loan that you've been waiting for to buy the uh, house or the car. Um, it also could be like someone's giving you something, like a family thing. This is generational. This is established, like dynasty. Something from your grandfather or great-grandmother, etc. down, passed down. It could be even someone gives you a car they don't want anymore. Or if they have like a cabin or a vacation rental that they don't want, they're giving you. Or if somebody gives you something that they bought for themselves and they can't use it and something you really could use and need. So this is definitely a financial blessing coming to you somehow in some way for any and all of us. And it, it's going to relate differently. This is a general reading, whether it's large or small, but it's something that you're going to be very happy about to receive and accept. For others of us, if it's not about money, it's maybe something that we're, we're getting ready for. You know, this is like you're preparing. So you're getting your grounding back. You're getting some some money stored away on the side for what you need. Um, maybe it's something you're preparing for that's coming. If you are going to be buying a house or a car, you're starting to put some money aside. Um, but there is help there. Somehow you got some help from this. And this is starting a new cycle. So this, you don't have to worry about money right now. It's not going to be forever and ever, but it definitely is something coming to you in the form of a blessing. And it's definitely from someone who's older and more established in their life. You know, you see the little turtle down there? Things have been maybe going along very slowly for you, but with this, even if it's coming in, you see there's a little bit falling out of the treasure chest. Even if it's not the whole booty, whatever you are getting from it is going to be enough to help you go along and move along. Now, whatever this is, whether it's money for some of us, you have that money now, and we do have this uh, beautiful full moon. So maybe it's something that came off of the Capricorn full moon that you were hoping for. Um, this is you moving away from something. So either you have the money now to get the new home, the money now to get the new car, the grant of the money to change schools, go to university, change your major, change your job. Whatever it was that gave you pleasure before that you truly enjoyed, <clears throat> Excuse me. it's time for you to move away from. You've outgrown this. And you're looking for something more challenging, really raising your stakes and moving forward. So maybe this blessing, whatever it is, is going to give you exactly what you need so that you can do this. Maybe you've been wanting to do this for a while. Maybe you've been wanting to get out of this situation for a while, but you haven't been able to, like, you know, the turtle speed. But like in the story with the tortoise and the hare, the tortoise did win the race because he did take his time and he did it slowly and got to to win the race he didn't exhaust himself so here you're ready for this whatever sensual pleasures you had before you know these cups were once full for you you've turned your back on them now you could even be turning your back on a situation with somebody a person in your life that you're done with you don't want anything to do with anymore uh, maybe you've outgrown them uh, it's possible, too, that, you know, you're evolving and this person isn't, and you're on, on different planes. And even if you care for this person or love this person, you feel like you just can't do this anymore and you want something better. You know, you've taken that staff is the wands, your energy, and you're moving on from it. You know, with that eight, too, that is about manifesting things. It's about bringing things to you. That is that lemniscate, okay, infinity. Your energy is always evolving. Okay, it's always changing, it's always growing. You evolve into something new always. You aren't what you were when you were 5, 15, 25, etc. It's about the growth. And here we have the Hierophant. This is a major, so this is one of the big secrets. Now, for some of us, we need to evolve this. This talks about some 
piety or stubbornness. Are you being stubborn in a situation? Is someone being stubborn with you? Are they set on the old ways, the ways that they were raised, the paradigms, everything that's been established that you were taught growing up, that you have spoon-fed this every day, this is the way it's got to be. These are the walls and prison-like establishments that tell us how we have to be, who we have to be, what we have to be. You know, maybe a parent that wanted you to be um, a certain vocation or trade and you didn't want that. Um, someone at school, church, a CEO. These are people in high ranking positions that are stuck in an old paradigm because that was what was established and worked for that time. But you being generationally born differently, you don't resonate with that. You respect the old traditions and ways, but you can't fit into that box. You don't want to. And if this is you forcing someone else to, this is saying for you to love and respect the way that you feel, think, and believe, but honor, love, and respect the other person's right to choose. And they have free will to be what they want. So even though you were spoon-fed this and swallowed it and hated it every day, you know this is um, a tradition maybe that you don't want to agree with and you're branching out on your own, but not disrespecting the older person or the older paradigm. And if this is you and that you do cling to those things, it could be that you need to let go of that now. It could be that you need to make some changes in your life and change your belief system and idealism. You know, this is all part of our growth pattern. You know, and the change will be very swift. If any of you are going to be doing this, this is going to be very clean, clear, and swift energy, beautiful vitality. You've got the ideas, you've got the energy, and you make clean cut, swift decisions. Like that sword is right there to chop things down. There's the owl in the tree, there's wisdom, there's clarity, and that you've been watching and listening. You know, the owl does that. In the dead of night, the owl can see, but it listens and observes everything in stealth and silence. No one knows it's there. And then it makes its quick lunge to its prey, right? So for you too, this is about making a clean cut decision with logic, no emotions attached to it. This is you saying it's time, you know, I, I've done all that I can and it's time for me to change the energy in my life and it's a clearing. Now for others of you, if this is an individual, this is someone really just heading into your life quick, they rush right in. They could be that Gemini or Libra or Aquarian energy, okay? They're air signs or they could be their ascendant too. Um, and this person is just rushing right into your life. So they've got bright, new, brave ideas. They're very charming, very charismatic, very magnetic personality. This person, they kind of draw you in. Um, you can't stop thinking about them. You see the thoughts. The thoughts are affected here, the mental realm. And you're very attracted to them. So this could be even a, a summer love for you that someone rides in. I'm not saying it's going to last, but uh, this energy is usually someone who's swift entering and can be uh, swift to leave too. They may even come back and forth in your life, you know. But other, other than that, if it's not a love relationship, this is you making some clear decisions. Uh, and with the knowledge, that blue, you have all the knowledge you need. And you've gone through the battle. You know, you see you, you've really been beaten up. Your armor, you've gone through it. Um, but you had to in order to make these clean cut swift decisions. So this is a very mixed week here with some of us getting something given to us, a blessing that's gonna help us to move forward. And this could be the grounding energy that we needed to do this, to break away from this old paradigm, this stubborn person, or even energies in ourselves that are stubborn. And we're going to make some quick, swift decisions that are very practical, very logical, without any uh, attachment emotionally to it and freeing ourselves from it so that we could put our ideas and energies into play. This is the time to take action. Well, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Thank you, Spirit, for this beautiful reading. And I wish blessings to everyone there. Thank you, dear ones, for watching and taking the time out of your busy day to watch my videos. Share your life and comments with me. I do appreciate it. Thank you so much, everyone. And I wish you the best.